tomboy. FYI, I stan, G, idol and will always support them, but take this review with a grain of salt because of Sujin's departure. So in other words, this video might be a bit biased in some areas. The controversial part of me wants to stop supporting them just so Cube sees the amount of repercussions Sujin's departure had on the group, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Instead, let's stay in the present and hope the girls are all happy. Now that I got that out of my system, let's move on. Yeah, I'm f boy. I actually disliked this song at first. It was not what I wanted after what, it was not the concept I associated with G-Idol, and there was no Sujin, even though we all know she would have slayed this concept. Needless to say, my expectations were very high because I burn was, and still is, a cohesive masterpiece, but initially, Tomboy felt weird and all over the place. The chorus was amazing, and I really loved the last chorus with them chanting it's neither man nor woman. That's it. That's all I loved. For parts I didn't really like, number one, Soyin's rap. That's why, I don't wanna play this ping pong. I would rather film a TikTok. Your mom was as a prince, but this is Queen Dom Rap. I like to add, I'm drinking whiskey, I won't change it, what the hell? Ping pong? TikTok? I like to add? I wasn't vibing with it, and frankly, I tune it out every time. It comes on. Definitely up there for her worst raps along with senoritas. I'm sorry but it had to be said. Number 2, The Censoring. This is more of me just nitpicking and wanting them to cuss instead of hearing a loud bleep in my ear. But, now, I really like the song. Still a no for the rap, but the rest of the song is flawless now. It's so catchy and it even made me want to listen to the entire album, which, I did. Honestly speaking, I only liked my bag on the album, but Villain Dies is slowly growing on me. It's a nice album with nice songs, and it's very cohesive, but none of the songs really grab my attention. Some sound like 2010 rejects and one sounds like a K-drama OST. Not saying they're terrible at all, but they're just not my taste. My bag at first was annoying, but I've come to like the raps. Especially Yuki. Damn that girl really suits rapping with her husky and deep voice. She sold it for me. Villain Dies I think has a very unique sounding chorus that I can see becoming popular on TikTok, which makes me want to not like it. Anyways, the album is great and really ties in together the badass slash rebel slash boss bitch concept pretty well, and it also creates a unique experience because this rock-esque concept isn't really what girl groups aim for. Overall, 8 out of 10 solid album and title track.